Hey guys, yesterday we did the first half of these notes over distributive property. Now we are going to simplify expressions. We are going to combine and distribute. Basically, we're going to use the things that we learned the last two days together. So let's read about how to do that. To simplify expressions, first you'll use the distributive property if there are parentheses. Only, number, only multiply the numbers inside the parentheses and simply rewrite other terms that are outside the parentheses, including those signs. Then after you have done the distributive property, you can combine like terms to simplify the remaining expression. So basically we have two steps here. We are going to distribute like we did yesterday, and then we're going to combine like terms like we did two days ago. So let's do that on number seven. I am going to distribute. I'm going to highlight the part that is involved in the distributing, which is five parentheses x minus four. This two x minus three is not a part of the distributive process because it is not inside the parentheses. So all I'm gonna do for my first step here is distribute five to the x and five to the negative four. And five times x is five x and five times negative four is negative 20. Then I'm just going to bring down the plus two x and the minus three. And now I can combine like terms like I did two days ago. Five x plus two x is seven x. And negative 20 minus three is negative 23. So we distributed and then combined like terms and got our final answer of seven x minus 23. Let's look at number eight. Again, I'm only going to highlight the part that is a part of the distributive process, which is three fifths times six x minus 15. This 12 doesn't have anything to do with the distributive process, so I'm gonna bring it down for the next step. And now I'm gonna do three fifths times six and three fifths times six is 3.6. I'm gonna change it to a fraction since the original problem was a fraction. So that'll be 18 over five X. And then three fifths times negative 15, three fifths arrow out times negative 15 is negative nine. Okay, now I'm going to combine like terms 12 and negative nine will combine, 12 minus nine is three, and then it'll be plus 18 over five X because the X doesn't have anything to combine with. Okay, next one. You might think there's nothing to distribute since there's no number in front of the parentheses right here, but there's actually an invisible number. It is a negative one. So I'm gonna highlight the part that is a part of the distributive process. It is negative one times nine X plus one, and that is it. So I will bring down the negative 1.3 and the negative 3.5 X and deal with that after I have distributed. So let's distribute the negative one first. Negative one times positive 9.1 X is negative 9.1 X and then negative one times one is negative one, and then I bring down the negative 3.5 x. Okay, now I just combine like I have been. Negative 1.3 will combine with negative one, and negative 1.3 minus one is negative 2.3. And then, negative 9.1 X minus 3.5 X will combine. So negative nine, negative 9.1 minus 3.5 is negative 12.6 X. Okay, last one. I have a lot going on here. Let's look a little bit closer at it. This three, is kind of off by itself here. It's not with any of the parentheses groupings that I have going on, so that is going to be brought down. And then the negative two will be distributed to that x plus one group. 
and then the positive 3 fourths will be distributed to the 12x minus 6 group. Okay, so let's just do this one section at a time. We already talked about we're bringing the 3 down. And now I'm going to do negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x. And then negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Okay, now let's distribute our next group, 3 fourths times 12. is 9x and then 3 fourths times negative 6 is negative 4.5. I'm going to put it as a fraction since my original problem was a fraction, so that's negative 9 halves. Okay, now that I have distributed both of my groups, I just need to combine like terms. So negative 3 is a number by itself, so is negative 2, so is negative 9 halves, so those will combine. So I am going to do 3 minus 2 minus 9 halves, and I get negative 7 halves. Okay, then I'm going to combine the x terms, so negative 2x plus 9x, Negative 2 plus 9 is 7, so that'll be plus 7x. So that is how you simplify expressions. Remember, we use the distributive property first, and then we combine like terms to finish simplifying.